good morning all of you <coughs> this is my seventh lecture on engineering mechanics subject in this session i am going to explain about uh, simple problems to determine the resultant in this session i will explain about uh, these two problems okay Before going to the problems, first you have to know the fundamentals about uh, sign conversions of a resultant force. Okay, if a force is acting towards right, then you have to consider positive sign. In similar way, when a force is acting towards left, then you have to consider negative sign. Okay. If your force is acting towards up, then you have to consider positive side. Okay, for downward direction, you have to consider negative side. Okay, these four sign conversions are very important for uh, solving the problems. Okay, so yeah. Here you can observe this force is in first quadrant okay it makes some angle with respect to x axis okay theta is the direction of the force yeah okay now for this type of forces first you have to split this inclined force into horizontal component and vertical component okay here you can observe this is the first quadrant okay here the force is acting away from the origin <laughs> okay then you have to consider this is the x axis this is the y axis so you have to draw a x component like this and y component like this okay here you can observe i converted this force F into two forces that is horizontal force and vertical force. This horizontal force lies on x axis and this vertical force lies on y axis. Okay, that's why this is called x component, this is called y component. Okay, here this is the angle. Okay, here this, this force is adjacent, adjacent to the angle and this force is opposite to the angle. So, for adjacent sides, we have to consider cos, cos theta. For adjacent sides, we have to consider cos theta. For opposite sides, we have to consider sin theta, okay? So, here, you can observe from these sign conversions, this force acting towards right. So, you have to consider positive side. And this force is acting towards up. So, you have to consider positive side, okay? F sin theta for opposite sides, for uh, adjacent sides, we have to find the F cos theta. Okay. In similar way, force is acting towards origin. Okay. In this uh, diagram, force acting away from the origin. But in this uh, equal in this diagram, force is acting towards the origin. Okay. Then you have to convert this force. F into horizontal component and vertical component. So here theta is the angle or direction of the force F. Okay. Now I am converting this force, inclined force, into horizontal component and vertical component. Okay. This horizontal force also acting towards the origin. Okay, because this inclined force acting towards origin. That's why we have to consider X and Y force towards origin okay here this is the adjacent side adjacent side of the angle so you have to consider cos theta and here this force is acting towards left so you have to consider negative side minus f cos theta in similar way this force is acting towards down so you have to consider minus f, f sin theta here this is the opposite side so you have to consider sin theta Okay, in similar way, 
Here, this force also lies in first quadrant, but it makes an angle theta with respect to the y axis. Then, this is the x component f sin theta, f sin theta, because this is the opposite side. Okay, this is the adjacent side. So, this is the f cos theta. Okay, and here. In similar way, this is the f sin theta, this is the f cos theta. Okay, here the sign conversions you have to observe. Okay, so here this force is acting towards right, this force is acting towards left. Okay, because uh, this force is acting towards origin, this force is acting toward uh, acting away from the origin. Okay, that is the main difference between uh, these two forces. Okay. In similar way, if a force F is a, F is a lies in fourth quadrant, then you have to convert this inclined force into horizontal component F cos theta and vertical component F sin theta. Okay, here this is the adjacent side, this is the opposite side. So you have to consider sin theta for opposite sides cos theta for adjacent sides. Okay. Here this force is acting away from the origin. So you have to consider x axis and y axis components also away from the origin. Here this force is making an angle with respect to y axis. Then this is the opposite side. This is the adjacent side. Okay, for adjacent sides, you have to consider cos theta. First, you have to observe this diagram, and uh, then after, you have to observe this diagram. Here, the main difference is angle. Okay, for adjacent sides, you have to consider cos theta. For opposite sides, we have to consider sin theta. Okay, here, force is uh, lying in. Uh, Third quadrant and makes an angle theta with respect to the x-axis. Then you have to you have to split or you have to convert this uh, force into x component and y component like this. Okay. So here this is the adjacent side. This is the opposite side. Okay. This force is acting away from the origin. So you have to consider x and y component okay away from the origin similar way if a force is acting towards origin then you have to consider x component and y component towards origin okay okay by using uh, these fundamentals you have to solve this problem Okay, this is the question. Okay, two forces P and Q are acting on a hook at point A as shown in figure determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant. <coughs> Here you can observe force P and Q are acting at a point A on a hook. Okay, then you have to determine resultant, magnitude of a resultant and the direction of a resultant. Okay, so here this problem you can also solve by using polygon law of forces or parallelogram law of forces. Okay, you can solve this problem by using parallelogram law of forces. Okay, here this is the given force P, P equal to 40 Newton, it makes an angle 20 degrees with respect to the x axis. Here I consider this is the x axis. Okay. This is the y axis. Okay. Now I am drawing this uh, Q force. Okay. It makes a total angle 45 degrees with respect to the x axis. 20 degrees plus 25 degrees. Total 45 degrees with respect to the x axis. Okay. This is the given question. Now I am converting uh, this 40 newtons and 60 newtons force into x and y forces. Okay. 
here you can observe these two forces are lying in first quadrant so i am considering first angle first quadrant first quadrant uh, diagram okay already i explained previous so here this is the force given force okay it makes an angle theta with respect to the x axis then yeah, this is the x component this is the y component okay the x component is the f cos theta y component is the f sin theta okay so in similar way you have to consider this 40 newtons into x and y component okay this is the x here the x component is plus f cos theta f is equal to 40 so 40 cos 20 okay here the angle is 20 degrees for 40 newtons force and this is the vertical force f sin theta that means 40 sin 20 degrees okay so here you can observe i converted this 40 newtons this inclined force 40 newtons into horizontal force and vertical force okay in similar way you have to convert this 60 newtons force into x on y component by using same formula okay by using same equations okay this 60 newtons force also lies in uh, first quadrant okay then x component equal to f cos theta here f equal to 60 so 60 cos 45 degrees is the x component okay 60 cos 45 is the x component and 60 sine 45 degrees is the y component okay here you can observe i converted these two inclined forces into x and y components okay now these are the given forces and the angles here you can observe these two are the x components these two are the y components so x component equal to 60 cos 45 and 40 cos 20 okay these two are the x components now these two are the y components so 60 sin 45 and 40 sin 20 okay these two are the y components now by by adding these two x components you can get the value of uh, sum of all horizontal forces it is summation fx okay by adding these two forces you can get the value of sum of all horizontal forces here i got uh, 80.01 newton's force for total x component okay here i convert these two horizontal forces into single force that is 80.01 is the single force this single force uh, value is equal to these two forces okay now by adding these two vertical components you can get the value of uh, sum of all vertical forces equal to 56.11 newtons okay here also i converted these two vertical forces into single vertical force that is uh, 56.11 newton is the single vertical force now you have to convert these two forces into single force again you have to convert these two forces into single force for converting a, a force you have to use magnitude of the resultant here already we know the formula for magnitude of the resultant resultant equal to square root of horizontal forces square plus vertical forces square okay here already we know the value fx is the horizontal forces 80.01 and vertical forces 56.11 okay we have to substitute these two values in this equation okay here r is the magnitude of a resultant that value equal to 97.72 newtons is the magnitude of a resultant okay now this is the direction of the resultant okay so for determining the direction of the resultant already we know the formula for the direction of the resultant that is the theta equal to tan inverse of for summation f y by fx okay theta equal to tan inverse of f y by fx here tan inverse of f y equal to 56.11 fx equal to 
okay here theta x that is the angle or direction of the resultant equal 35.04 degrees okay here this is the x axis this is y axis so here the x component is single x component is a plus 80 0.01 and y component is 56.11 this is the y component this is the x component okay now i converted these two forces into a single force that is a resultant here the resultant is 97.72 it lies in first quadrant because the value of fx the sign for fx is positive and the sign of a fy is positive okay both are positive so x axis positive to y axis also positive then the resultant lies in first quadrant okay this is the magnitude of a resultant now <clears throat> theta x theta x is the direction of the resultant okay so here the resultant makes an angle <clears throat> 35.04 degrees with respect to the x axis okay so here this is the our required resultant force and this one is the direction of the resultant force okay this is the final answer now coming to the another problem here this is the question okay find the magnitude and direction of the resultant or of concurrent forces acting at a point p as shown in figure okay here we have to find out the magnitude magnitude of the resultant and direction of the resultant here four forces four forces are given here find and newtons lies in x lies on x axis okay 450 newtons uh, lies in y axis and 250 newtons makes an angle 30 degrees with respect to the x axis and 300 newtons makes an angle theta with respect to the y axis here you have to find out the value of theta okay now i am converting uh, this given diagram into another another diagram here i consider this vertical force as it is okay now i am drawing this horizontal force as it is okay there is no need to convert these two forces now we have to convert this inclined force and this inclined force. So here the given force 250 newton makes an angle 30 degrees with respect to the x axis. Okay. Now you have to determine the angle. Okay. Here we don't know the angle for uh, 300 newton's force. So first of all, you have to find out the angle with respect to the y axis. Here, yeah. theta is the angle between the y axis and the force 300 meters. Okay. Now, here a triangle is given. Okay, you can observe this triangle. Okay. The vertical distance is 3 and the horizontal distance is 4. Now, I consider this is the theta and this one also theta. Okay, already we know the formula for uh, tan theta. Tan theta equal to opposite side by adjacent side. Here the opposite side is 4, adjacent side is 3. So 4 by 3 is the tan theta. Now theta equal to tan inverse of uh, 4 by 3, that is 36.87 degrees. Okay, this is the angle theta. Okay, so 300 meters makes an angle 36.87 degrees with respect to the y axis. Okay. So I converted this uh, given diagram into this diagram. Okay, then after we have to convert this force diagram into horizontal and vertical forces diagram. Okay, so this is the x and y axis. Here I am drawing the 450 newtons as it is. Then after we have to draw this 500 newtons force as it is, because these two forces are lies in quadrant okay quadrant lines now you have to now you have to convert this uh, inclined force 300 newtons into x and y component 
and also you have to convert these 215 nodes into x and y components okay yeah 303 you can observe this 300 nodes force lies in fourth quarter okay then this is the opposite side this is the adjacent side so opposite you have for opposite sides you have to consider sin theta so 300 sin theta is the x component for determining y component you have to consider 300 cos theta for adjacent sides so this is the 300 cos theta okay and now you have to convert this to newtons into x and y component here you can observe this uh, 30 degrees makes an angle with respect to the x axis okay so this is the adjacent side and y axis is the opposite side this 250 newton force lies in third quadrant so these two x and y components also lies on third quadrant so this is the x component this is the y component okay here you can observe this is the 250 cos 30 here this line 250 cos 30 okay yeah, the, this angle makes angle with respect to x axis. For adjacent sides, you have to consider cos theta. In similar way, this is the opposite side. So, 250 sine 30 is the y component. Now, I converted these four forces into horizontal and vertical forces. Okay. Now, you have to add all horizontal forces and all vertical forces okay here you can observe 500 newton's force okay this 500 newton's force uh, lies on x com x axis so this value is plus 500 okay and there is no y axis so y component is zero in similar way, 450 newtons, 450 newtons lies on y axis. So the value of x component is zero because this force lies on y axis. So the y value is plus 450. For upward actions, you have to consider plus. For downward uh, forces, you have to consider negative side. Okay. Next, 250 newtons. 250 newtons. This is the x component and this is the y component it makes an angle 30 degrees so here this is the x axis this force uh, acting towards left so you you have to consider negative side minus 250 cos 30 is the x axis or x component and minus 250 sine 30 for downward uh, directions you have to consider negative side minus 250 sine 30 okay in similar way, you have to consider 300, 300 newtons into x and y components. This 300 newtons uh, makes an angle theta, theta equal 36.87 degrees with respect to y axis. Now, this is the x component, this is the y component. So, this x component is a plus 300 sine theta, and this vertical component is a minus 300 cos theta. By adding these uh, horizontal forces, you can get the value of uh, summation fx. Summation fx equal to sum of all horizontal components. Okay. So the answer is fx equal to summation fx equal to 463.49 newtons. Okay. Now, this is the y comp. These are the y components. By adding these vertical forces, you can get the value of a uh, summation of y. Okay, the answer is uh, plus 85 newtons okay this is the x component this is the y component okay now already we know the formula for uh, resultant magnitude of the resultant r equal to square root of horizontal forces square plus vertical forces square okay here the horizontal force is 463 and vertical force is 85 okay so here you can observe this is the answer for a magnitude of a resultant magnitude of a resultant equal to 471.22 newtons okay in similar way already we know the formula for direction of a resultant direction of a resultant theta x 
इको टेन एन वर्स ऑफ एफ वाई बाय एफ एक्स या दे एफ वाई इज एटी फाइव और एफ एक्स इज फोर हंड्रेड सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट फोर नाइन ओके या थीटा एक्स इक्वल टू टेन पॉइंट थ्री नाइन डिग्रीज ओके सो दिस इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ़ द रिजल्ट है ओके नाउ आई एम शोइंग द फाइनल डायग्राम ओके दिस इज द सबमिशन एफ वाई दिस वैल्यू दिस वैल्यू has a positive side so you have to draw a vertical force towards up and this horizontal force also shows a positive side so you have to cut the horizontal force like this okay so this is the summation of x force and this is the summation of y force okay these two forces are lies on first quadrant so the resultant also lies in first quadrant Okay, so this is the direction of the resultant. The value is four seventy one point two two is the magnitude of the resultant. Okay, and theta x theta x is the direction of the resultant. That means the resultant force makes an angle theta x equal to ten point three nine degrees with respect to the x axis. Okay, theta x means angle made by the resultant force with respect to x axis. Okay, that is the theta x. Okay, this is the final answer for this problem. Okay.